Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I'm the Franchise King. Today's video is focused on using a franchise attorney. Don't be cheap. Use a franchise attorney. Hire a franchise attorney when you are getting close to decision time. All right. Now, a couple things are really, really important. Do not hire a franchise attorney early on in the process of looking for a franchise. You don't need a franchise attorney yet. All right. Do not hire a franchise attorney in the middle of your process. Um, uh, after you talk to franchisees and, and after you start looking around at locations, it's not the time. The time to talk to a franchise attorney is either right before or right after you visit franchise headquarters for a discovery day. Now, almost every franchisor has a discovery day where it's kind of like they meet you, you meet them. They give you um, a tour of the operation. You meet people that you'd be working with from their staff, et cetera. Maybe you'll visit a franchisee that is uh, within driving distance of the franchise headquarters, et cetera. It's kind of a, a meet and greet, and it's, and it's really, really important to do. But do not pay for franchise legal services until either right before you've gone to a discovery date or right after. That's, that's really the only time. So, so save your money until then, but do not use a general business attorney. Don't use uh, Aunt Martha, who specializes in business, but has nothing to do, who's an attorney who specializes in business, but really doesn't work on franchises. Um, franchise, uh, the franchise industry has certain things that franchise attorneys uh, uh, know about and look for, and, and that's why they are specialists. So don't be cheap. Hire a franchise attorney at the appropriate time. Now, here's what occasionally happens. You're working with a franchise salesperson at headquarters, you're about to go to Discovery Day, and you mentioned that, you know, probably after your visit with the Discovery Day, you're gonna have a franchise attorney look over the franchise agreement and, and the, uh, the FDD, the Franchise Disclosure Document. Sometimes a franchise salesperson will tell you, you know, that's fine. You're welcome to spend, you know, $1,000 or $2,000 on a franchise attorney, but know this, we don't change anything in the franchise contract ever. So, so you know, you can, you can blow your money with a franchise attorney, but know that, you know, the, the franchise agreement is not negotiable. I don't care if the franchise salesperson or even a franchise broker tells you that. It doesn't matter because at that point they're protecting themselves and they're trying to get paid. This is about you. Even if the franchise contract ends up not being negotiable, it's still okay to spend money and invest in yourself because a franchise attorney will protect you. There are things on the franchise agreement that you may have missed. There's things on the franchise disclosure document that you may have missed. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of data. And, and if you're not an attorney, if you're not, you know, if you never went to law school, this stuff is really, really hard to understand sometimes. All right. So ignore anyone who tells you you don't need a franchise attorney because nothing's negotiable. First of all, you need a franchise attorney to protect yourself. Second of all, there may be things that are negotiable that the franchise salesperson doesn't even know about. All right. So make sure that you spend the money on a franchise attorney towards the end of the process when you're about to make a yes or no decision. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Hopefully, hopefully, you got a lot out of this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Use the red button so you can find out what else I am going to share in the future.